Right, here we go with our Pi Star setup. We're just going to um, connect our 446 to um, uh, a Pi Star server, which I have up set up. So, with our Pi Star flashed, we're now going to um, change a few things. So, I'm going to click on configuration, and the first thing you're going to do is run the update. Now, I've done that already, but obviously, you just click there and run the update. So, with that one done, we're now going to give our uh, node a call sign, and we're going to uh, shift to a 446 frequency. Oops, no, we don't want that one. 19375. <laughs> We're not going to set a longitude and latitude. We don't really want to. But we do want a public um, access to our hotspot because, um, you know, it'll be a pain in the ass for um, several people to connect. And at this point, you need to set your, your hotspot. I'm actually using one of those. And, um, yeah. Uh, now if I hit apply changes now this page here obviously you should change your password at the bottom this page here the best thing to do is don't ever make any changes on this page again because if you do it will change the next page so what will happen is that this will take uh, a little while because I'm running a Pi 1 so you just have to wait but um, my browser does look like it's doing something but obviously we've got to wait for the Pi. Now if you were using a Pi 2 or a Pi 3 this would be a lot quicker because uh, originally I did give a Pi 3 to this but um, at the moment it's just a Pi 2. Sorry Pi 1 um, and I'm using a, a an open GD77 um, radio as a hotspot uh, if you want to use an open GD77 uh, what you do is you go into the firmware and settings and you turn the hotspot mode onto uh, MMDVM and um, or, or blue I think but uh, it has to be turned on anyway with that um, going I say it is, it is slow um, maybe I should pause this and uh, but it's going to take about a minute okay maybe uh, two minutes has passed but um, you'll see now changes applied um, that will come up as well uh, you can um, while you're here set it again but obviously if I now do that you know it'll take another couple of minutes um, so uh, yeah catch you again in a couple of minutes right we're back again say a couple of minutes later right now we need to go to put my server details in take it off of the um, off the main uh, uh, brandmeister so we're going to go expert mmdvm host right this id number here um, it needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven digits long, but mine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that. Now you can use anything you want, but it has to be um, different. Now I know already on my server I have that one and that one, so um, yeah, you, you could use anything. I think two, three, four, five, six, seven. This here wants to go to cast. What that does is it puts the IP address onto um, um, the GD77. Obviously, if you're not using a GD77, don't bother with that setting. Uh, this is my power level setting here. Now, 1 is 50 milliwatts, 10 is 500, and 100 is 1 watt. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 50 milliwatts. My RX offset is actually that. Everyone's will be different. Um, now basically what that is, is when you transmit you'll have a, an error rate, a BER, and um, basically uh, if it's out you would change that setting either a plus or minus. Anyway, going back there, I just changed the DMR enable to 1, and further down here we're going to 
enable it as one. And we're going to change the address to my server, which is 001 English EU dot no hyphen IP dot biz. Oops, not dot bix, dot biz. Um, that password is correct. Um, now, if I apply the changes, again, might take another minute or so to uh, to kick in. If I now go over to my dashboard and I uh, give it some insert, uh, test one two, test one two. Oh, might help if I turn the radio on. Right, channel 16, talk group 9, slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, test. There I am, going in on talk group 9, if I go in talk group 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, test. Right, I wonder if anyone's monitoring on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, okay there, John. Um, thanks for that. I'm uh, just making a quick video. Something as simple as two bare wires touching each other. 